Now, an alloy circular bar A, B, C, D is 4 meter long and is subjected to a tensile force of 100 kilonewton, as shown. Now, if the stress in the middle portion, they have given you the stress in the middle portion, BC, is not to exceed, okay, 200 megapascal. 200 megapascal. Go on for a second. Okay, now <clears throat> then what should be its diameter? So you have to find the diameter of BC. Okay, they have given us the stress. Okay, then we find out the diameter. The force, 100 kilonewton. Okay, now also find the length of the middle portion. So you have to find the diameter of the middle portion, portion and as well as the length of the middle portion. If the total extension of the bar is not to be more than 3 mm if the total total deformation or the total extension of the bar should not be more than 3 mm then take the Young's modulus 200 so this is the uh, steel the Young's modulus for steel okay 200 giga pascal so this is the diagram that we have this is the diagram so both this section here, AB and CD, they have given us 40 mm and 40 mm, except, okay, for the BC, the diameter is not given, where we have to find out the diameter of this and the length of this as well. So you have to apply the principle of superposition, remember. Okay, so AB, okay, so you take AB here, remove this uh, part here, for the equilibrium of this section, okay, since this is 100, so I must consider 100, a force acting downwards 100, okay, so you have 100 here. So <clears throat> that will be the equilibrium of this section, okay. Then after that, you refer to BC. Now, see BC, yeah? at section B here, there is no force. At section C, also no force, okay. So that means zero force, zero force, okay. So if we were to apply principle of superposition, Take out this part BC here. So since part B here, section B here has zero force. So since this force is acting downwards 100, therefore this section here, I consider a force acting upward. 100 upwards, 100 downwards. So that means 100 minus 100, so you get zero. So then for the equilibrium of this section, since this is 100, then of course you must have a downward force of 100. Then the last part is your CD. So CD, okay, so see here again, here is zero. So when we look at this, this is 100. So when you consider CD again, okay, so I must consider an upper force of 100 so that I have 100 minus 100. So get what we get here is zero. So if this is 100, then this is 100. So that is what we have. So the force acting A, B, B, C, C, D are all the same, okay, for this case. Okay, because you don't have any net forces here. Okay, so the force acting throughout is the same. So for the middle portion, we now look at the middle portion only first. Now the stress that they have given 200 megapascal. Okay, so we know that stress equals to force over area, and we know that the force is 100 kilonewton. So no problem in finding out the area with the stress given, the force given. Okay, so we can find the area changing this to be the subject okay so area of the section bc is the subject now substitute the fbc 100 kilonewton and the stress of 200 times 10 to the power of 6 this is 100 times 10 power 3 so find out the area so the area found is this much and we know that area can be equal to pi r square or pi d square over 4 okay Okay, we know that the area should be pi d squared or pi r squared. So, okay, I don't know whether there is a working here for this or not. So from the area, I want you to find out the diameter of this section here. Because we know that area here is pi d squared over 4. Okay, so we want to find the diameter. So you have to times 4 divided by pi square root. So you can find out the diameter of section BC. Okay, 
Now, the next part is the total deformations that have given us 3 mm, so 0 0.03 meter, okay, which consists of the deformation of section AB, BC, and CD. So you just write down these formulas here, which have part one, part two, and the part three. That means the section AB, section BC, and the section CD. Remember, the Young's modulus are all the same, and the forces are also all the same, you see? All tensile, 100 kilonewton. Okay, so you can extract the F and the E away from this. Okay, so you've got this thing here. So the next part, okay, so we continue from the previous part, so we have this. So, okay, we go back to the area. Area of AB and CD is the same, okay? Because they are similar section. So AB and BC, AB and CD, not BC, okay? BC, okay, sorry, BC, we have found this area. Area of AB and CD, we use pi r square, we can find the area. ABC just now we have already found actually. And based on that, we can find out the diameter. Okay, so now what we need to do is we have force constant throughout, Young's modulus, the same homogeneous material. So length L1, L2, and L3. That is the problem here. We have to deal with the length. The area we have, every area here we have. Okay, so <clears throat> we know that the part three and the part one, they are the same. Part three and the part one is the same, okay? So remember, you know, section A, B, and section C, D are the same, same size, same dimensions, yeah? So therefore, you have this equation here, okay? So you have L1, A1, and L2, A2. So I should have a two here, sorry, I should have a two here, I missed out, missed out the two here. Okay, I missed out the two here. Okay, so you all can revert after this, revert, this should be a two because this plus this, this is similar to this. So when you take this plus this, this should be two L1, A1 because section three and section one is the same, this and this is the same. So when you add it up together, this you must have a two beside here. And then you have four minus L, okay? So you work out from the diagram itself, okay? So your L2 is what you need to find. What is your L1? What is the total length of the, what is the total length of the, the thing? The total length is four meter. So if I want to, uh, this is four meter. So this section will be, sorry, uh, you don't have to times two because this is half already. So four minus L is four minus L. You get the length of these two sections. Okay, the length of the middle portion is unknown. The length of these two sides here is four minus L. Okay, four minus L. Okay, the length of this is four minus L divided by two. And the length of this is four minus L divided by two. So if you take this plus this, it's only four minus L. Okay, leaving the L unknown. Sorry, okay? So either you can put here as 2L1A1 or you leave it as it is. Because this part here, actually they've combined it, okay? Four minus L. So everything here in terms of L now. So you can solve the equation. You have to use some mathematics skills, okay? To find out the length of the rod of the middle portion. Okay, so these are the steps that I have done. So you can do it on your own, okay, when you're free. So this is the length of the middle portion. So you can find out the length based on this, all these workings here. So you can modify this part or modify this part. Once you modify this, this has to be modified. Okay, if you let it leave it as it is, it should be four minus L. So you get your total length, the length, sorry, not total length, the length of the middle portion is 2.34 meter. So what I want you to do is rework this problem on your own, okay? Thank you.